hello guys welcome back to visit technology today i am going to tell you about how to write programs using for loops and if blocks and all today i am going to tell you all these four questions the first one is finding even and odd numbers up to given number if the, which means if user gives 10 up to 10 you have to separate the even numbers and odd numbers and you have to print like this okay after that prime number prime number in the sense the number which is divided by one and itself is called prime number right so how to find the prime number up to given number next one fibonacci series fibonacci series is nothing but if you add the first two numbers the third number should come which means 0 plus 1 equals to 1 next 1 plus 1 equals to 2 next 1 plus 2 equals to 3 like this it has to come after that palindrome palindrome in the sense if user enters one number if you reverse that number those both numbers should match that is called palindrome like uh, like this 1 2 3 2 1 if you reverse this number you will get the same number so this is called palindrome now we will write that now i'm going to write the program for, for first question shift to press f7 star star p star nlr equals to star on this is the format this i'm going to declare one variable which is num this is zone type and I'm going to declare another variable which is i for for loop. Okay, next I'm going to take the input from the user right. So I'm writing enter the number. I'm storing the user response in num variable. After that, I'm going to start a for loop for i equals to 1 to num. And for I'm checking. So let me explain this question first display function will execute and it will display this message to the user and the user enters some value that will be stored in num variable after that it will display this message even number sir after that i'm going to start the for loop in the for loop i'm declaring i value is one up to given number this for loop will repeat certain operations up to given number starting from one okay so this condition is true right it will come inside the for loop and it checks the condition if percentile reminder of i colon 2 equal to 0 here percentile reminder is an inbuilt function which will take two arguments the first one is the number and second one is the number which you want to divide This percentile reminder function will use it to find the remainder of any number. Okay. Now I am finding the remainder of i value. Its remainder is 0. Then we can say this as a even number. If it is not equal to 0. Then don't do any operation. Okay. After that i value will be incremented. And again it will check 2, two by 2. Which means the remainder of 2 by 2 is 0 right it will come inside the if block and it will display 2 after that i will be i value will be incremented by 1 which means 3 now remainder of 3 by 2 equals to 1 which is not equal to 0 so the compiler come out of the if block and now i value will be incremented by 1 next it will become 4 like that the loop will be repeated 
here here is also same thing this is for even numbers if the remainder is zero then we can say that it has a even number if the remainder is not equal to zero then we can say that it has a odd number right so this is the logic for odd numbers now i'm going to compile this one and we'll see what is the output call this i'm giving 10 even numbers are 2 4 6 8 10 odd numbers are 1 3 5 7 9 okay so this is the output for that program but actually we don't need this type of output we need the output which is like this right so how can we get this output so it's a very simple thing for this i'm going to declare a variable which is used to store those values here i have taken two variables which are even and odd if you want to display the output like this first you need to assign all these values into a variable after that you can display them in a single line along with the string we don't have any separate command to display the output in a line format okay we have only one command to display the message that is dsply function so here instead of displaying the i value i'm going to assigning that i value to a variable which is even so plus equals to so even is a varchar data type right i is a number data type we cannot perform concatenation between varchar data type and the integer data type so what we need to do if you want to concat means so you need to convert that integer into varchar data type after that you can concatenate that value to even so for that we have a function like percentile char of i i need some space between those numbers right so i'm adding some space that's it yes. oh now here is the logic so it checks the a value if it is even then that will be concatenated to even variable if it is not even which means if this condition is false then it will come to else black and it the value that value will be converted into character and that will be concatenated to odd variable after all the values concatenated i am going to display those values here you need to know two things about the display function the first one is display function will allow only 52 characters within a single quotes and uh, it will take only one argument so if you want to concatenate two strings how we can write that we'll see if you want to concatenate two strings which means there are two arguments so how can you write how can you concatenate those both strings using display function means you need to enclose those strings within a parenthesis like this even numbers are less even here you need to know about the plus operator if you use this plus operator between two strings then those both strings will be concatenated if you use this plus operator with two numbers then those both numbers will be added so that is the difference after displaying the even numbers i'm going to display the odd numbers too so I'm, i have written the display function like this now we now we'll file this one and compile this and we'll see what is the output file this call it I'm going to give enter the number as 10 look we got the exact output which we want so look here this is how you can display the result in a single line 
now we'll see how to find prime numbers up to given number have written a logic already for this program i'll just explain to you first i have declared a couple of uh, variables over here the number is for storing the user response i and j both are using for for loops count to, is used to count the values and prime is a variable which is which is going to store all those prime numbers and will display in a in a single line so first the compiler will come here and it will display this message to the user and the user will enter some value that will be stored in num variable after that the loop will be begin here highest i starts from 1 up to given number this loop will be repeated first i'm going to initialize the count value as 0 after that i'm going to take another for loop this is called inner for loop and the and this is called outer for loop okay the outer for loop is used to count the numbers from 1 to given number and another for loop which means the inner for loop is used to find the prime numbers this is the logic for finding the prime numbers okay in the inner for loop i am going to initializing the j value 1 that will be repeated up to the value i okay the condition is true right then it will come inside the inner for loop and it checks the condition if percentile remainder of 1 by 1 equal to 0 the condition is true right so it will come inside the if block and it will increment the count value by 1 okay here count equals to count plus 1 and count plus equals to 1 these both are same only so instead of writing like this much of long we simply write like this okay there is no confusion after that if block will be ended then j value will be incremented by 1 which means 2 2 is less than or equals to 1 condition is false right so it will come out of the for inner for loop and the, here is a condition here i am checking the count value what i have told in the beginning the prime number which is divided by 1 and itself which means there are only two factors so the that is why I am checking the condition. If count value is 2, then we can say that as a prime number. If count value is more than 2 or less than 2, then we cannot say that is a prime number. Right? So, I am checking the count value. Now, count value is 1, right? So, 1 equal to 2. Condition is false. Now, the compiler won't enter into the flag. After that, I value will be incremented by 1. and Which means I value is 2. 2 is less than or equal to given number count value again initialized as 0 again the in inner for loop will be executed and it will count the factors after that I am checking that factor which means the count value is 2 then we will convert that number into character data type and that will be concatenated with the prime variable after doing all those things we will display the prime variable well we will file this and compile this let's see what will be the answer call it i'm giving 10 so these are the prime numbers up to 10 so okay next again i'm calling i'm going to give 21 so these are the prime numbers which are there between 1 to 21 okay 2 2 is divided by 1 and 2 two factors only 3 3 is also divided by 1 and 3 it won't divided by any other numbers 5 is also like that only 7 11 13 9, 17 19 these all are divided by 1 and itself that's it so that's it for this video thanks for watching we'll see in the next video bye